latest news break coming in, a hit and run incident has been reported from Banjara Hills at PS limits in Hyderabad. A man on a two-wheeler was rammed by a speeding BMW in the Banjara Hills police station limits. The accident happened after the driver lost control over the vehicle. The car has been identified and the accused is yet to be caught. These were visuals that were recorded on CCTV camera. I want to cut across to my colleague Abdul Bashir taking us uh, through these visuals that are coming in. Abdul, what's the latest that you have? Uh, the man behind the wheel still untraceable. Uh, difficult to understand because the car must be registered uh, and especially where the address is concerned. How long is it taking the cops to actually identify the man behind the wheel of this BMW? On the other account, uh, where the hit and run accident did take place, uh, what's the condition on the man on the two-wheeler? See, uh, this incident had taken place at Banjara Hills Police Station limits uh, in the wee hours today, early morning hours, when uh, GHMC, uh, the Greater Hyderabad Municipal Corporation employee, Bala Chandar, uh, was traveling uh, for his duty during which a BMW car, uh, which was, you know, uh, uh, driven very, uh, uh, in a rash manner, had uh, uh, spe uh, 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 hit this person. And then uh, the, this person was severely injured, and then the, uh, the person uh, driving this vehicle had uh, run away from the spot. However, the injured was shifted to the hospital. Later, the police has, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, from the eyewitnesses, has uh, uh, stated that the, uh, the eyewitnesses said uh, that this uh, uh, woman uh, was driving this vehicle, and she had been in a, uh, you know, uh, in a, uh, she had been consuming alcohol, or it, she was in an, uh, the, in a, uh, in a state where she had consumed alcohol, and that is the reason this accident. Has taken place. Now the police has also checked with the registration number that was registered on a private company and when the police approached the private company uh, uh, so they have informed that this car was sold six months ago uh, to a person and now the police is identifying this person and he's, he's still on run and uh, uh, the police has yet to reveal uh, the further details of this incident. So how do we know that the uh, person behind the wheel was an inebriated woman or a drunk woman is what we have been given to understand? As we can see in the CCTV footage, there was a, a two-wheeler that was, uh, uh, you know, right behind uh, when the accident has taken place from the spot. A person got down and he had lifted this, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, moved this uh, uh, person, uh, the victim, uh, from the road. And in, in that state where he had uh, noticed a woman was there in the car and she was in, an, uh, in a state where she consumed alcohol. And that is, uh, that is what is being mentioned by the eyewitnesses. Now the police is, uh, has, police is yet to clear as to who was driving this car and what exactly has led to this incident, uh, led to this accident in the morning hours today. Um, what is the condition of the person who was hit in this hit and run? See, this person who was uh, hit by this BMW car uh, was severely injured and he was shifted to the nearest hospital where he is right now undergoing treatment and uh, right now his, t his uh, condition is said to be critical. Condition is set to be critical. Appreciate you joining us, Abdul. We're going to get back to you for more updates on that story. Meanwhile, uh, shifting focus.